All right, thanks for watching. And so far in our vector field extravaganza, we just talked about two-dimensional things. Especially Green's theorem only works for two dimensions, and we parameterize curves, which are like one-dimensional. Now we want to move on to the world of 3D and sort of also the world of surfaces, which are, if you want, you can think of them as 2D parametric curves. And for this, let's just warm up a little bit. And today what we're going to do, we're going to find tangent planes to surfaces. And again, as a warm up for surface section of vector calculus. So indeed, that also doesn't work. Let's find basically the equation of the tangent plane to the surface. Now I'll give you an equation of the surface at the point one half square root of three over two and pi over three. So here's the important thing to understand. Curves are one-dimensional, so you can parameterize them with one variable. Now surfaces, they become two-dimensional. That's why you need two variables to describe them, or two variables to parameterize them. In this case, suppose it's given by ruv, it's u cosine v, u sine v, and v. In this problem, we don't need to know the balance. But in case you're curious what this looks like, turns out it's what's called a helicoid. It's sort of a helicopter surface. So let's see if I can draw this. It looks something like that. Somehow, uh, I think a 2D helix. And what we want to do, so given, again, first of all, this is, if you want, a general point R U V. So at the point 1 half, square root of 3 over 2 and pi over 3, what we want to do, we want to find the equation of the tangent plane. It turns out we can do this pretty easily. So again, if you sketch out the set of points u cosine v, u sine v, v, for general u and v, you get what's called this helicoid. Okay. And of course, the first order of business is, you know, figure out which u and v corresponds to that point. So let's find u and v. It's like finding Nemo, but you have to find two fishes or something. <laughs> so what do we get? R U V equals to U cosine V U sine V and V. And we know this equals to one half point or vector doesn't matter. A square root of three over two and pi over three. Now, one of the equations is easy to find because we basically have v is pi over 3. So how nice, a little freebie. So v is pi over 3. And then let's see what u cosine of v is. Well, by definition, it's equal to 1 half. But now, v is pi over 3, so u cosine pi over 3 is 1 half, and therefore u times 1 half equals to 1 half, so u equals to 1. And you can indeed check that with this u and v, u sine v is square root of 3 over 2. Very good. So u equals to 1, v equals to pi over 3. Now the question is, how do we find the tangent plane? And now, suppose
cozy of a surface like that. I know, magic carpet. Think of it as a magic carpet. And suppose you have a point, RUV. And you have the tangent plane. So this is the tangent plane. Like in our example, RUV was 1 half squared of 3 over 2, pi over 3. It turns out there are two vectors that are guaranteed to be in the tangent plane, namely the slopes of u r of r. And there are basically two slopes here, which is r u, so partial r over partial u, and r v, which is partial r over partial u. Now, you might say, shouldn't it be Rx, Ry? Well, if S is the graph of a function, then yes, it's Rx and Ry. But the problem is sometimes your surfaces, they're not functions. That's why you really need Ru and Rv. And it could also happen that those two vectors are linearly dependent, but then uh, that's like a, like a degenerate case, if you want. Okay, so fact, R u and R v are on the tangent plane. Well, let's calculate R u and R v, and I'd like to remind you, R u v, it's u cosine v, u sine v, and v. So, R u Let's, uh, let's not argue, let's argue. So, you differentiate this with respect to u. So we have cosine v, sine v, 0. And rv, it's minus u sine of v, u cosine v, and 1. In particular, so this is for general u and v, but we want to do it at our specific point. 1 pi over 3. So are you, and then so uh, 1 pi over 3. If you do that, I think you get 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, and 0. So just plug in u equals to 1 and v equals to pi over 3 in this, and rv, 1 pi over 3. That's minus, so minus square root of 3 over 2, 1 times cosine of pi over 3, 1 half, and 1. Very good. We get those two tangent vectors. Now, here's perhaps, in my opinion, the most important thing about this second section of vector calculus. We have those two vectors on the tangent plane, what is the most important vector that helps us to determine the equation of a plane? It's the normal vector. So in particular, once we find a normal vector, we're done. We found the equation of the tangent plane. Let's call it n hat. And the reason I put hat is not to be cute. n is usually called the unit normal vector. But here we just mean any normal vector. And how do we find, given two vectors, how can we find the vector perpendicular to them? It's the cross product. And that's why the cross product is so important. It helps us find two vectors that are perfect. It helps us find a vector that's perpendicular to two other vectors. Okay, so let's find a normal vector and then we're happy and we can go home. But not for me, I still have a bunch of videos to record. So, n hat, that's ru cross rv. And by the way, nothing to do with Russia, it's ru also is Russia. I love Russia, I went there in the summer, it's beautiful. So. Okay, so how do you find a cross product? It's ijk, and you take a determinant over two vectors. So 1 half square root of 3 over 2, 0, minus square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. 
one, and then you Bomberman that, so the determinant of this becomes square root of three over two. Now the determinant of that becomes one half, but remember the minus sign. Whenever you jump, you have a minus sign. So minus one half. And lastly, the determinant of this becomes one quarter plus three quarters, which becomes one. Great. You found the normal vector. You have a point on the plane, so you can just find the equation of the plane. Luckily, the point is already given. So one half square root of three over two, pi over three. The normal vector is square root of three over two minus one half, one. And remember how to find the equation of the plane. So the coefficients are given by those three numbers. So square root of three over two minus one half and one equals to zero. And what do you put? You just put x minus the first one, y minus the second one, and z minus the third one. So again, the, the components of the normal vector give you your slopes or your coefficients, and your points give you the y x minus, y minus, and z minus. And if you want to, you can expand this out and solve for z, but I prefer this method because uh, it's, it's clearer that it shows you that you know what normal vectors are. And again, this is amazing because you found the equation of a tangent plane without u and v of any surface, so not only functions. And don't worry, we'll do even more exciting stuff next time. So this course is just getting progressively more and more exciting. I don't know why I say this course. I mean this YouTube video, so, which is part of a course. Uh, all right, so if you like that, and if you want to see more YouTube videos, or you know, more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Spasiba. <laughs>